Hey guys, in this video we're going to be doing a uh, tutorial on how to set up your marketing autopilot and the tools you have in there so that you can get those going so you don't miss out on any leads. So we are in KV Core and when you go into KV Core you're going to go on your uh, left hand side through your options you're going to see marketing autopilot. You're going to go ahead and select that. Once you have that selected, you have some different options. You have behavioral automation, which hopefully they do an update for that. You have search alerts, which we'll do in another video. Lead validation, the mobile dialer, the mass emails, which you can do up to 50, I believe, at the moment. And then we're going to focus on the smart campaigns on the top left corner. <coughs> Excuse me. Under the smart campaigns, you're going to see um you're gonna see bait any campaigns that you have set up so i currently have four what we're going to be focusing on today is the just checking in for sellers and just checking in for buyers campaign now i have these different for example on the buyers check-in i have emails and texts that are being sent out and then i also have one for sellers but that is only texts and those are nine touches and the other one's 13 touches so you can pull the custom the the template ones from kv core i don't suggest that i suggest making your own i'm going to give you an idea of what mine look like so you can model them but we're going to go ahead and we're going to click just checking in for buyers and we're going to see what that one looks like and i have it all laid out here and as you can see, if you want to take a screenshot, feel free to take a screenshot. But you're going to see day two to all the way to day 490. And there it is right there. So I have emails, text, a series of emails, another text, a series of emails, another text, and a series of emails. My goal in this is to stay in touch with leads that are long term, buyers that are not quite ready, whether they're six months or a year out, I want to be able to just touch them gently and remind them that I'm available to help them. That is ultimately the goal of any email automation or text automation. It needs to be simple to the point and uh, not overbearing. I'm not into giving them, you know, the five steps to list a house the to do's and not to do's on open houses. I, I'm not really into all of that. So we want to keep these simple and to the point. And plus, when you go and make these, when you're only having to write, you know, two or three sentences, it's much easier to get through. I did all of these in about an hour. And because I laid out what I wanted to do, and I went ahead and I made them. Okay. So uh, you can edit these. Let me just show you what I have them set up on as far as the requirements. So the campaign logic. So the way I have it set up as is any new lead that comes in as a new lead. I have another video on creating your status for each of your buyers or your sellers. And this is very important because you can categorize, you can have email campaigns and text campaigns start automatically because you have the value set as a new lead. So any new lead, no matter what, that comes into the system is going to be set up on this buyer email and text campaign. Now there is one additional criteria and that is the, in step number two and that says design for. I have this design for buyers. So if they come in as a new lead and they're categorized as a seller, they're not gonna be set up on this campaign. Only buyers that are, um, that are new to KV Core are going to be set up on this campaign. So then I have my details, what I named it, just listing or just checking in campaign. This is an email and text sent out every six weeks to see if they're getting the listings that I'm sending them. So every lead, buyer lead, no matter what, is going to be set up on my um, auto alert campaigns where they're going to receive homes on a daily, week, weekly, or bi weekly basis. And these are just to say, hey, did you see that? Mm -hmm. Hey, did you see this home? Hey, I'm here if you ever wanted to look at any houses. So that's as simple as these messages are really going to be. 
and uh, that's what they're going to look like. So then I have under this, it just gives me a review of what it's going to do. I have it on always run in a lock status. Always run basically means that if you have any other email campaigns, any else that you're going to do this will always go out no matter what okay it's gonna overlap if there's two emails in one day this one is set as always run okay now since I didn't change anything I'm not going to change anything now let's go ahead and let's look at some of what of these campaigns are now I created all of these and I'm gonna show you how I created them in a minute I'm gonna give you some ideas of what you can write so let's look at the first one. The first one's an email, and this one just simply says, just checking in, uh, make sure that the subject line is different and it's not just saying just checking every in every time. Because we wanna make this look like this is a custom email, a custom text sent out that I actually did. Not just a generic, um, you know, are you ready to do something today? Great, give me a call. We don't want that. We want to be personable in everything that we do. So it's just wanted to make sure you're getting the homes that I've been sending you. Also, just a reminder, if there's anything that you would like to see, we can open up any house you would like to see. Not just our office listings, but other offices as well. This is my first one. I wanted it to get all the information I needed out um, and make sure they are aware because most people are going to see anything within the first couple days more uh, more likely than if they were to see it on day 220. So then I have a text. My first text that I'm sending out is, hey, first name, it's Tyler. There have been some new homes. Oop, I'm glad I see that. I have a misspelling off to correct. New homes popping up on the market and just want to make sure you were getting them. Let me know if you want to make any adjustments. I have another text here that says, <coughs> excuse me, Hey, first name, just checking in to see if you've been seeing any homes I've been sending you recently. There have been a lot of good ones. Just a reminder, if you see anything, reach out, talk to you soon. So very basic, very to the point, um, and let's keep going. Just wanna make sure if I'm on point, uh, just making, just wanting to make sure if I'm on point, if any, if things or circumstances have changed. Have you seen any homes that I've sent you recently? I'm here when you need me. As you can see, I did actually intentionally not put uh, very formal grammar. I wanted this to see like I just typed this up and sent it out. That was my intent. My spelling though, that was not, my incorrect spelling was not my intent. Okay, so we're gonna look at a couple more here just to give you an idea of what you can do. <coughs> Hope all is well, just wanna make sure you're still getting the listings <clears throat> and see, see, see if you see anything you like. Is there any criteria you'd like me to change or add? Okay, let's go to my text. My text that I have over here is, hey, just checking in to see if you need anything from me and making sure you're getting the listing updates. As you can see, all of this is, most of these are revolving around the listing updates. Uh, because I'm sending those out daily. If they unsubscribe from that, they unsubscribe. We're not worried about anybody that unsubscribes. We want to capture those that are not going to unsub unsubscribe and are gonna do something. So you gotta get rid of the fear of loss and we are going to press on, make sure we're in front of the people that are likely to stay on and hope that we get those, okay? That's really our goal. So uh, uh, let's just look at two more here, one more email, one more text. Hey, hope all is well, just wanna make sure you're still getting the listings and or if you are seeing things you like. So I did copy a couple of these and repeated them just because they're so far apart, they're never going to notice, okay? I have the name of the email that I wanna be able to read, email eight, then the email template matches that. I'm gonna pull this, I'm gonna show you how to make that template. Then I have uh, the number of days out that I'm setting it, okay? And the last text that I'm sending out here is, hey, just making sure I'm not dropping the ball on your home search. If plans have changed, let me, mo let me know. Tyler Bundy, eXp Realty. That's on day 400. All right, so that is my email and text campaign for buyers. Now, let me show you how I actually made that. 
if you go under templates you're gonna have a list of over a hundred different texts and email campaigns that you can pick from that KV course setup. The downside to this is that if you want to use one of these, you literally have to read every single one and pick the ones you like, delete the ones you don't like. So I just decided to skip all of that and I simply just made my own. You can make your own by going here, add a template. So you can add a template, you can name it, it can be an email or a text template or a call tem template. I focused on just the emails and text because I didn't want to be in the middle of any of this campaign. I wanted it to go out automatically without my involvement. So let's focus on an email here real quick. You're gonna name it. My suggestion is simply to name it what you're going to do be. This is a check-in. And let's say this is check-in email number one. That's it. You're gonna make your subject line uh, make it creative change it just checking in hey hope haven't heard from you ha are things going well any updates those are suggestions on what you can make your subject line to be and you're gonna want to change that accordingly and so it doesn't it's not uh, static and sound the same so be fun with it the more per, put your personality into it when you do that, it's gonna come out as genuine, okay? So then you're going to put your email here, exactly what you would want to put your email. Now, you can insert people's names and uh, to make sure it's pulled in, and that's, you're gonna just go to one of the, excuse me, the, the other templates, and you're gonna see what they are, because I don't think, no, yeah. And that's how you're gonna put in the first name. Is you'll simply select the insert merge tag. You select whose name this is going to be. I want just the first name. And then you're gonna go, hey, first name. Put a comma. And then you'll write your email just checking in to see if you have been getting my home search updates. There you go. Save it and include your signature and then you're gonna add the template. Now that's gonna show up in here. You're gonna create all of those and then you're going to go to your library campaign and you're gonna select a nuke, add a campaign. You're gonna do the criteria of what you want it to do. I showed you what that looks like before. And then once you have it in here, there's gonna be no touches that are gonna show right there. So you're literally just going to go select the campaign and then you're gonna start adding your actions and you'll be able to find all of your templates. You just search for the name, for example, check-in. So all, excuse me, check-in. And all of my check-in emails that I made are right here and I literally select them and add them. And that is as simple as it is to create an auto text and auto email campaign. This is essential. I have this for every single new buyer lead, every single new seller lead that comes into my system. I also have stuff that's specific to Realtor.com or Homelight or wherever you may be getting leads. If it's appropriate, you can do so. This is gonna help make sure that nothing's falling through the cracks. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a blessed day.